visiting new construction without a realtor. How does a realtor get paid on new construction? You need a realtor when building a custom home. Why use a realtor when buying a new home? That's what we're covering in today's video. Stick around and roll the intro. Hello everyone, it's great to see your smiling faces. My name is Victor Persaud. I'm a real estate broker here in Southwest Florida, servicing Cape Coral, Fort Myers, Bonita Springs, and Estero. I create content showcasing Southwest Florida through video and answer some of the most frequently asked questions on the internet. To stay up to date with our local area, be sure to subscribe and click that bell notification so you're kept up to date with the latest content. So if you're considering moving or relocating, to or from Southwest Florida, be sure to call, text, or email me. By the way, if you found one piece of information helpful in this video in any way, be sure to hit that like button, which helps my channel being found through YouTube's algorithm. So thank you in advance. In today's video, we're talking about your agent and how they help you with new construction and the building process. Since this is a very informative video, I have chapter sections listed in the description box below where you can jump from topic to topic. Why use a realtor when buying a new home? There are so many different things to navigate new construction, like standard features, upgrades, the model center with and without upgrades, good areas, bad areas, neighborhoods, timelines, dry lot versus saltwater lots, which builders build on wet lots or dry lots, burrowing owls, gopher tortoises, types of seawall properties that hold value longer versus ones that don't, property styles like ranch, two-story, tri-level, pool or without pool, oversized lot, regular lot, garage space, floor plans, unincorporated land within Cape Coral, waterfront properties, different views, city water and sewer, assessments, septic and well, overpaying for a property, maybe you want to build on a specific lot, the purchasing process when looking for land to build on, rear exposure, being on a golf course. Needless to say, there are so many factors and variables with the purchasing process. So my point is you could probably research and figure out these things on your own or simply hire an agent to help you navigate through this process, which I recommend because number one, it saves you time and number two, it saves you money. Like I said, you may not need an agent and you feel comfortable with the purchasing process then that's great for others a key point here is that the salesperson at the model center works for the builder not you which leads me to my next point during the building process there will be hiccups there are certain things that do come up and potential things to look out for that will save you money and hold the builder accountable if you're if you're new to the area purchasing a new construction it'd be very difficult for you to tell what is normal and what is not normal. Your broker, whom should be familiar with the new construction process, and they would be a third party representing your best interests in the building process. For example, seawall installation. You get a quote for 30,000. As your broker, that would cause me to raise an eyebrow. Most likely, I would ask the question, why so much? I just sold a property that had a seawall installed in the same neighborhood for a third of the price and really question where they got their price from. Do you need a broker when building a custom home? A custom home is a different situation altogether. If you feel comfortable with all the reasons above why use a realtor when buying a new home, then I would technically say you're good to go. Here's my question. What happens in the event that your builder does not perform, meaning they are slow to start after their first draw? What happens if they cease construction in the beginning, middle, or end of the process? What happens if they are not meeting your deadlines? What happens if they have multiple projects and you're not getting the attention and communication that you need? What happens if you need a different builder come in to finish what the first couldn't, what the first builder couldn't? I hear you right now saying, we have a contract. Well, I'm here to tell you what happens if the builder files bankruptcy or takes your first draw and run? Everything mentioned above are scenarios that have happened and I'm not saying that having a realtor will cure this. I'm saying by having one, you'll be able to reduce your risk uh, and exposure. How does a realtor get paid on new construction? Simple. The easiest way is for your agent to take you and register you with that builder. If you go to a builder directly without them, then make sure you fill out a registration form and put their name on there and take a picture too. Each builder has their own policy around this. This next section, 
Uh, we're going to dispel and clear up some misinformation out there. You get a better deal when working with a builder directly. This is false. The builder simply makes more money when you do not have an agent. These savings do not get passed down to you ever. If you're a builder watching this video, contact me and change my mind. If you're not working with an agent, there is not much wiggle room for upgrades. False. How would anyone know the difference of what is an upgrade and what is standard? If this was the case, there should be some type of material in writing in their sales office that clearly states, if you do not have an agent, these are all the upgrades you get. Clearly, this is not the case. Again, if you're a builder watching this in Southwest Florida, Cape Coral, contact me and change my mind. The truth is realtors make up 98% of the sales here in Southwest Florida. That being said, my favorite builders are the ones who have their products listed in the MLS, the multiple listing service, because it creates a way to do business with one another that's fair to the client, the realtor and builder. All right, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're thinking or even considering selling or purchasing a property here in Southwest Florida, be sure to call, text, or email me. I'd love the opportunity to connect with you. And if you want to know more about working, living, or playing here in Southwest Florida, then if you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button and click that bell notification so you're kept up to date with the latest content. I've created a playlist uh, here with everything that has to do with vacant land purchase and other playlists to tour the area here in Cape Coral. Remember, own more real estate.